We have learned Dalton atomic theory in in which suggested that the atom was individual and indestructible. But the knowledge of existence of subatomic particles, electron, proton and neutron in an atom. It was then considered necessary to know how electrons and protons are arranged within an atom. Various atomic models were proposed by different scientists. Following are some of the atomic models. Thomson's model of atom. Rutherford's model of atom. Bohr's model of atom. Thomson's model of an atom. J. J. Thomson was the first one to propose a model for the structure of an atom. This model is often called the watermelon model. In this model, Thomson predicted the positive charge in the atom is spread all over like the red edible part of the watermelon. While the electrons are studded in the positively charged sphere like the seeds in the watermelon. Thomson proposed that an atom consists of a positively charged sphere and the electron are embedded in it. The negative and positive charges are equal in magnitude, so the atom as whole is electrically neutral. Thomson's model explained that atoms are electrically neutral. The result of the experiments read out by other scientists could not be explained by this model. Rutherford's model of an atom Rutherford designed an experiment. In experiment fast-moving alpha particles were made to fall on a thin gold foil. The alpha particle scattering experiment gave totally unexpected results. The following observations were made. Most of the fast-moving alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil. Some of the alpha particles were deflected by the fall by small angles. Surprisingly, one out of every 12,000 particles appeared to rebound. Rutherford concluded from the alpha particle scattering experiment that most of the space inside the atom is empty because most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil without getting deflected. Very few particles were deflected from their path, indicating that the positive charge of the atom occupies very little space. A very small fraction of alpha particles were deflected by 180 degrees, indicating that all the positive charge and mass of the gold atom were concentrated in a very small volume within the atom. He calculated that the radius of the nucleus is about 10 to the power 5 times less than the radius of the atom. On the basis of his experiment, Rutherford put forward the nuclear model of an atom, which had the following features. There is a positively charged center in an atom called the nucleus. Nearly all the mass of an atom resides in the nucleus. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular paths. The size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the size of the atom. Drawbacks of Rutherford's model of the atom According to Rutherford, electrons revolve around the nucleus in well-defined orbits, but electrons being charged particles will lose their energy and finally will fall into the nucleus. This will make atom highly unstable. This was the major drawback of Rutherford which was unexplained by him. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.